finally, we have launch details, including pre-order plans for Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. And guys, I gotta be honest with you, it's confusing. <laughs> it, it's a little bit bizarre, but don't worry. I'm gonna break things down for you here to explain all of your launch options because similar to when Hogwarts Legacy announced all of their launch details, there's a lot of confusion here, a lot of confusion. And, you know, I wanna be fair to the folks at WB and Umber Open Studios, so I'm gonna do my best to break this down here. But just know, guys, it, this is confusing. So they had previously announced the Standard Edition. Now they have announced the Deluxe Edition. So then what do you even get with this Deluxe Edition? Well, it's all digital. Nothing physical for this. Here's the breakdown, though. You're going to get the Slytherin Hogwarts Travel School uniform, this one right here, the Slytherin House Crest emblem, the Slytherin Stormrider Hurricane Broom skin, and then basically the same thing for each house. Each house has a skin, an emblem, and a broom skin. Just know it's $10 more. This one is releasing for $29.99. This one is releasing for $39.99. Additionally, you'll also receive 2,000 gold. Now, of course, this is going to make people ask the question, Wait a second, I thought they said no microtransactions. So for that, we have to jump back over to the FAQ, which says gold can only be earned through in-game progression and cannot be purchased with real-world currency. So that is a good thing right there. And another indication they do seem to be sticking with this not having microtransactions. Now, if you want to stay up to date on all things Wizarding World, make sure you subscribe to the channel. YouTube tells me that about 86% of you still aren't subscribed. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Really goes a long way to support the channel. Then you can see it says pre-order on Xbox, Steam, and Epic Game Store. Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> what about PlayStation, right? From everything that I can see right now, and we're gonna go and look at their FAQ in a second as well because that has some more information, but from everything I can see, you cannot pre-order this game on PlayStation. You definitely can't pre-order the Deluxe Edition, and I don't even think you can pre-order the Standard Edition. Now, I know what you're thinking because it's the same thing I was thinking. Surely, that's not correct, right? There has to be another way. Well, if you go to their FAQ page, on which platforms is Harry Potter Quidditch Champions available for pre-order? And they again confirm digital pre-order for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Then they say check with your preferred retailer for physical deluxe edition pre-order availability on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, what about Nintendo Switch? That version is delayed to holiday 2024. We don't have an official date on that one yet. Can I purchase Harry Potter Quidditch Champions if I do not have a PlayStation Plus membership. And they say, yes, the game is available for purchase on September 3rd, 2024. However, PlayStation Plus membership required to play the online competitive mode. Seemingly confirming that to play the solo career mode, you will not need a PlayStation Plus membership. Now, what's interesting is this doesn't say if that is the standard version on PlayStation or the deluxe version on PlayStation or both. Now, what I think could be going on here is I think PlayStation obviously wants to push people toward the PlayStation Plus membership. So it's very possible that they don't want people to know whether or not there's going to be a deluxe version here, which is crazy, right? I mean, again, I'm I'm guessing here. We don't know this for sure, so don't go hating on PlayStation or WB. We don't know why this is happening. I'm going to keep checking on PlayStation site. Now, as of right now, the only option available on PlayStation Store is just the standard Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. It doesn't have any sort of price. It doesn't have anything at all other than, hey, they want you to know that you can, in fact, play it on PlayStation Plus day one, but no pre-order. I don't even see the wish list link anymore. That used to be on here. So again, this is all very rapid. This is all happening right now. So it's possible this page will be updated later today. Hopefully there's going to be some way for PlayStation players to get the deluxe version if they want it. But from what we're seeing right now, Sony is really not making it obvious how to do that. And we're not getting anything from WB on how to do that either. From what I'm seeing right now, you cannot pre-order this game on PlayStation and you cannot get the deluxe edition on PlayStation except for the physical version. Yes, there's a physical version, but more on that in a second. So you can only pre-order on Xbox, Steam, and Epic Game Store, and if you do that, you'll get the Firebolt Supreme Broom skin. Now, if you're worried about not getting this on PlayStation, you will get it on PlayStation, standard edition of game and Firebolt Supreme Broom skin available from September 3rd through the 30th with PlayStation Plus. Also, the digital and physical deluxe editions are $39.99, so they're going with the exact same price for physical and digital when it comes to the deluxe edition. Are you still with me? Now, if you want the physical deluxe edition, because it doesn't seem like there's going to be a physical standard edition, that is not gonna be a thing. However, a physical deluxe edition will release, but wait for it, not until November the 8th. Almost two months, basically more than two months 
after the launch of the digital edition on September 3rd. Oh, I, I don't understand it, guys. I know a lot of people have went digital only, but there are still a huge number of players who will only want to play the physical version, which means you're going to be splitting the base up right here because now you're not going to have that huge influx of players at launch. You're going to spread them out over a couple of months. So instead of it being everyone getting it September 3rd, physical, digital, everybody playing together, November 8th is when you're going to have to wait if you want a physical copy. Now, if you're a Nintendo Switch owner, you might be thinking, well, is this when I'll get my hands on the Switch version? I originally thought that as well, but if we go back to the FAQ, you'll see here that is not the case. The physical deluxe edition will be available November 8th. So again, just confirming that the only physical version is the deluxe edition. But then the next line, the Nintendo Switch system edition will be released this 2024 holiday season. So that isn't necessarily going to be releasing on November 8th. So if you have a question, guys, be sure to leave a comment and I'll do my best to try and answer some of those. Now, even though we're just about a month from launch, I still have a lot of questions about how a Quidditch game is gonna translate. I actually made a whole video on that. You can check it out over there on the left side of your screen now. Huge thank you to our tier three Phoenix members, The Flash, Martin, Savage Khaleesi, and Dylan, as well as all our other channel members. You guys help make these videos possible. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.